Hi, and welcome to the Photoshop shop. Today we're going to show you how to use digital backgrounds and overlays to enhance your photography. So let's go ahead and get started. First you'll want to go ahead and open the document that you're going to add the digital background or overlay to. Then you'll want to go up and select New, Place Embedded, Go ahead and select whichever background you'd like to use. We're going to use the white bokeh background and then go ahead and click place. And we are going to resize this particular background and just make it a little bit bigger and then go ahead and click enter and that will place it. So as you can see, once you hit enter, Photoshop has created a new layer and that has our bokeh background on it. Then you'll want to go ahead and go down here and click Mask. As you can see, the mask is selected. And while having the black color selected as the foreground color, we're going to go ahead and go up to the Brush tool. And we'll have our brush selected at about 500. Then we're going to go ahead and just start painting to reveal our subject underneath. And don't worry if you accidentally over expose your background like I am doing right here on purpose. There's a very easy way to fix that. And I have this about where I want it. You'll want to just come back over here and click the reverse tool and just paint that back in. And now I've overpainted and we'll click it back and we'll just expose that little bit of hair she has there at the bottom. And then if you want to make an adjustment to that background, oops, I missed a little spot here and there. And what you'll do is come down here and select levels. And what we're doing is we're creating an adjustment layer just to the background. But before we get started, we're going to go over here to layer and go down and create a clipping mask. That way, when we change the tonalities and colors in this background, we're not going to affect our subject at all. So once we have the clipping mask, you'll see there's a little downward arrow, and then you can just go ahead and make it darker or lighter as you see fit. Hope you've enjoyed this week's tip, and we'll see you next time at the Photoshop Shop.